the halftime show. I, right. Again, I like – I thought the halftime show was great. Now, again, we've got all the people that are 25 and under. Oh, it's the greatest show ever. And I'm like, first right. of all, pump the brakes. Okay, stop it. All right? And, again, Michael Jackson halftime show doesn't count. It, it, it's not qualified. Nobody's qualified to be that good. A man can stand <laughs> on the stage for 20 minutes without even moving, and the whole right, world, right. 200 people are screaming. That doesn't count. So enough with this is the greatest show ever. But you got, having you got said Asher, that, you got Asher over here saying Usher killed it. You well, know. he did. I mean, no. he did. It, it was a great no. show. It was an absolutely okay. great show. But you can say it was a great show without saying it was the greatest of all time because right. it, it, that it was not. Okay, Buddy's over there saying Usher needs to keep his hands off his wife, and that's what Swiss B should have said. So that let me tell you, that was the only good thing that came out of halftime for was a little spice there. OK, was this was, a, you know, the Alicia Keys fondle. But I thought it was average. I said he didn't have enough hits. He literally brought out a ton of people. And I still thought it was an average halftime. So maybe it was me. It maybe was I you. was maybe I wasn't enough of a prisoner of the moment. It, but it anytime you could bring out Little John, Alicia Keys, uh, her. And I thought her killed it on the guitar. I mean, that's that's what she does. And I was like, eh. Other than a guy in a figure skating outfit, roller skating half the time. That's a lot of skating. I mean, but, here's the know. thing. It, it's first of all, let, let's attack this this Swiss beat thing, Chris. Let, let's attack right. that. Okay. I don't so, care what you're doing. You cannot be all hugged up, squeezing, scrooching, okay. whatever you want to call it, on my right. wife for 150 million people to be watching. You you just that that's not acceptable. Well, and he came out all, and said, ah, I'm okay with it. It was just a performance. And my thing with all, that is, yeah. yeah. I'm also, yeah. Big B's been known to put on a good performance in a hotel room himself. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So that, that's, all, that's all the performance is. So what, what are we talking about here, dude? Let it go. Uh, no, we, we, got a couple, it's okay. we got a couple guys I got to address. First of all, somebody said it was the second best halftime show ever. And then somebody said compare it to, to Prince. I'm going to answer both of those oh two God. right now by saying, Jeez. see if you can block both of them in the chat. Yeah, That's absurd. Yeah. It's not the but, second best uh, yeah. of all time. And don't be bringing Usher's name up with Prince. So yeah. Let's stop it. But stop now, right now. But now let's get back to, you know, the, the, the two people paid to perform on a song called My Boo, trying to make it a little spicy. I mean, it gave us the right amount of controversy. There was no exposed nipples or anything like that. It no. looked spicier than it was. Go back and watch it again and see if you'd be so worked up. Because I tell you what, fondling my wife on stage, you know, but then when you're dressed as a figure skater in sequence and you keep doing these little quick pop locks and, and everything is sus, I felt more secure with this lack of manliness. You know, so, I mean, right? I, I was okay. I was perfectly okay with it. You know, it, it, was, not, know. it was non-threatening, you know. So here's, here's – I like this take. No nipples, no problems. I don't know that that's the standard, Chris, that right. a married woman should have performing live on stage. If no nipples are showing, then that means it's okay. So everything else is okay. Is that what we're doing here? You know, I, I think that Swiss Beats, you could make it a controversy by saying, yeah, that was, that was super spicy and Usher needs to keep his hands off my wife. Or you can make it a non-issue by saying, I have no comment. It was entertainment. You know, they were both, he had, first of all, there was seven layers of fabric between them. They both had sequins and he was had there seven, seven layers. Yeah. Cause that glove was thick. He looked like hamburger helper out there and nobody's <laughs> talking about it. Nobody's talking about that damn glove. And I want somebody to talk about it. You know, I thought he blew that thing up. I thought <laughs> that was crazy when you look at that glove. Okay. Sorry. Of, I, I just, again, I thought the performance was great. Again, let's not get crazy and talk about how it's right. top three, top four. Okay. No, it, it was just a great performance. Right. But the spiciness, okay. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm for it. I'm 100% okay. for it. Uh, I don't have a problem with it because, again, that's not my wife. So right. as long as it's not my wife, I don't have any problems with it. But if okay. you get booed up with my wife on stage in front of 150 million people, expect me to Will Smith and Chris Rock you. Just, <laughs> just expect that. Expect it. And don't be mad about it because you know it's coming. Yeah. No, I I get it. But, I mean, quiet is kept. Alicia Keys at some times has kind of been like my wife, you know. So I, I did feel a little bit of pressure at a time. You know, I, I, I got it. 
Okay. I got you. Know? you. Oh, here's a, a something. April yeah. H. Or the dancer that flew off the pole. So you didn't see that, did you? Yeah, Not enough I did. people are talking about it, Chris. Not enough people. Hey. And Fell you know right what? off the pole. They never showed her again. Did you she break what? her neck? Did she crack right. her head open? Did she get no. back on the pole? Not enough comments going she, on about that. I have seen an extended cut. She did not get back on the pole. She did pop up quick, though. So durability. Let's score hey. a 9.5 nine on durability. We yeah. got, got a little displaced, but she popped up. But you know what? But, Half of America is going to say that's what happens when you have stripper poles at the Super Bowl. Let's let's keep it classy, folks. We didn't have that. You don't have upside down twerking. You don't have people falling on their head. Well, let, let's not go too far. The upside down twerking, I can go for. You know, I'm for it. I'm picking up yeah. what they were putting down. The problem is she fell off the pole. And again, we I mean, she got up quick, but we've seen guys have been concussed. They pop right up now. They yeah, stagger absolutely. off absolutely. just like a boxer. They, they get up immediately, and then yeah. they get that stanky leg, you know, wobbling around. Yeah, yeah. So we've she seen did. that plenty of times. She wasn't good for the next set wardrobe change or any of the choreography, yeah, but you know it. what? She she went and got her check and an ice bag. You know, so, <laughs> you know she went to the blue tent. <laughs> yeah, she went to the blue tent, got yeah. it figured out. I like it though. I like yeah, it. Absolutely. And then the whole now here's the one, Jermaine Dupree. Right. I, I don't understand what he was trying to pull off, Chris. I don't I don't get the I, outfit on what he was doing. It, I'm going to leave that to you because I just don't understand what what fashion sense that was. Okay, first of all, I got to address, I believe it's Milford there talking about J-Lo was on the poll too. He needs to keep my wife's name out of his mouth. Don't ever talk about J-Lo. When J-Lo's on the poll, it's classy, okay? Uh, you know, but no, the, the Jermaine Dupri uh, gender reveal, you know, uh, <laughs> Easter Sunday, I don't know what the hell that was about, you know? So... Yeah, I see you, Milford. Don't put that comment up on the screen. Uh, you know, I don't know what that was. I, I actually thought for a second when I just glanced at it, it was CeeLo. You remember when CeeLo used to do all that kind of crazy stuff? And Jermaine Dupree, he's picked, he's picked yeah. up 20, 25 pounds. He looked I don't like know it. what. I don't know what in the Easter Sunday on the way to the candy store, can I buy you a lollipop was going on? I was out. <laughs> yeah, I was out on yeah. it all day. I didn't, I didn't but, get it. I didn't understand it. I, I mean, I get it. Sometimes, again, maybe his butthole got tight. Yeah. He's going to be on the, he, on the Super Bowl, yeah. 150 million people watching. He just I, picked something out and thought, right. you know what? This and, looks good. And it, whatever his eyes saw, it let him down. It absolutely a, let him down. That's a hell of a call up, right? You haven't been relevant in 20 years. Yeah. You know, since the Welcome, yeah. to, Atlanta, Welcome to Atlanta remix. Criss Cross has done jumped out of the charts. You got nothing <laughs> relevant, right? And they say, hey, Jermaine Dupree, you were the producer on some of these tracks. You want to get out of here? Man, I haven't been on stage. Last time I did, I had a jerry curl. I'm completely bald now. I'm yeah. plus 30 pounds. F it. I'm just going to wear this velvet short suit. I don't know what was going on. Maybe yeah. it was a tribute to Prince. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it could have oh. been. But either way, me and Jermaine, Jermaine Dupree, first of all, we got beef anyway because he was dating Janet for a little bit. And, you know, I, I even though I, I pushed Janet <laughs> away, I still don't like the fact that, you know, she – she tried to make me jealous by dating somebody that <laughs> ugly. So I'm a little upset about it. Um, you know, yeah, I'm a little upset about all of that anyway. I just, me, me and Jermaine, we got, we got beef. We got beef. But, but he got me. He got me in the comments. He said Twitter was calling him CeeLo on Ozempic. And he got me with that one. He knew that I'd chuckle at that. That was low-hanging fruit. But that's hilarious because that's exactly what he looked like to me. Oh, Unbelievable. sorry. Unbelievable. <laughs> but, he, but he always comes through. Oh, and then you, your girls are in there talking about Luda. So yeah, I'm I'm done. I'm done yeah. with Luda because that's all I'm here. Luda. Yeah. If I heard <laughs> that one more time, I'm gonna spit. Absolutely. Man, I've heard it absolutely too many times, man. Right. Too much. No, I I think that Luda <clears throat> did save uh, the the halftime performance from being below average. I thought Luda came out it, to me gave it the energy and the relevance I wanted to see, and maybe I'm just too much of a hip hop rap fan. I guess, but Luda really brought me back to average. So. Yeah, but I guess if that's the case, what were you? I mean, Usher is not a rapper, so if you were looking for a rap show, that that's not what he is. I, He's I was an R&B looking, guy. I was looking for a collection of hits, and I get it. Well, you got I it. know that. I know that Middle America was really feeling themselves, you know, on the Usher, and he's got a new album coming out. But I needed a little more oomph. I don't know. 
first, <laughs> and maybe I was just going because it was a low score in first half, and I was looking for something to make me, you know, I mean, like Halle, Halle Berry and Monsters Ball, make me feel good. I don't know. I, I feel, first of all, if you're looking for, I don't know what you were looking for. He crammed in basically every hit that he had in that 15 minute set that he had. He got it all in. I don't know what else you were looking for. I, you know what? I guess that too much of his hits are similar, and so getting them all in didn't really. He didn't take me through the, you know, the the ride. You know, it's kind of like. I, I hate to say it. The most comparable person to me for that would be Nelly. If Nelly ever gets on a show, was he hot? Does he have enough hits? Absolutely. Are they all in the same time frame and kind of not similar, but do they all take me to the same genre? Yes. You know, mm-hmm. so say it's not the same genre, same era. So now Buddy's on here saying he should have got on there with, and played yeah. same girl, that song he had with R. Kelly. And that yeah. was a, banger but no he can't well, play what that. are you gonna do what are you gonna get r kelly from the jail cell are you gonna yeah i mean what, what is he gonna be on you know they're <laughs> gonna hook him up from the jail cell let him sing a little bit first of all r kelly's probably singing where he is right now but it's not he's being forced yeah. to sing he's being tell you forced what, to sing in a certain type any, of mic you know what i'm saying yeah anytime no pause <laughs> <laughs> any, anytime they Anytime they record somebody over the jail phone, it's always a hit. I don't know what the reverb is or the plexiglass window or the fact you only got one take, but it's hot, you know? So I'm in for it. So no, I'm out. I'm out. No.